School involved too many quadratic equations and not enough about personal finance. What is your dream? Being a normal human. Go to school, graduate, get a job, earn a lot of money, then after that retire with some benefits. That's it. But this doesn't work anymore. So watch this video until the end if you want to know the money secrets that school never teaches you. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to our channel, Millionaire's Insights, so that you can discover super interesting information every day. Have you ever heard a lecturer come into class and say, today we're going to learn the importance of saving money? Your answer is never. Well, it is not your teacher's fault because they're just following the syllabus, but what I think is that along with school course, they can give two to three saving tips along with complex math and physics problems. So try to avoid any impulse purchases. Be aware of the tricks used by supermarkets to make you spend more cash. If you have cash set aside for emergencies, you have a fallback should something unexpected happen. Always remember, there is no shame in haggling to get the reasonable deal when you are buying something. Haggling is one of the secrets that very few people know about the golden rule is to never shy away from negotiation. Negotiate the interest rate, negotiate that purchase point and everything else that you are paying for. Though we never learn in our schools that how to haggle or what is its importance. But you should always ask for a student discount, the opportunities for a bit of bargaining are endless. So don't be shy, haggle, haggle, haggle and you will end up saving a lot of money. No one will teach you in school that how to manage your debt. Well, unless you take some personal finance classes, which in my opinion should have been offered in school as part of the curriculum, but unfortunately it is not happening. But because not all of that matters is taught in school, here we are in 2021 learning about debt from a YouTube video. Most people after college end up in so much debt, this is all due to lack of awareness and it's here in addition to student loans. They take up multiple credit cards which dig them even deeper in debt. Isn't it sad? Compound interest is a powerful thing indeed. It just depends on which side of the calculator you're sitting. This interesting concept can grow. The money you start out with faster than expected, but it makes it harder to clear any money you owe. Do you know why? Because compound interest multiplies over time by adding interest on top of interest. And I am sure nobody taught you the concept of compound interest in school. You can protect yourself better by being aware of the long-term effects of compound interest. Plan your spendings. Budget for payback and get help if you're worried the costs are getting out of hand. Another thing that school doesn't teach you is where to invest your money. It is very important because learning to invest is the key to making more of your money and can result in you having a really, really solid source of money on your side. Let me introduce you to something called passive investing. Do you have any idea about it? It is an alternative form of investing that you might not heard of. Rather than trying to beat the market by basically taking the gamble that shares in a certain company will go up, index funds track the market as a whole. Have you ever learned about any of these money secrets at school? If yes, then let us know which one in the comment section and if we're missing something out, please do comment that as well. 